Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here I'm happy you stopped by. Today I'm participating in a chili day challenge. Today's February 23rd and it is National Chili Day. This collaboration is hosted by my friend Jim from Jim's Kitch Kitchen. Chili seems to be that dish that brings people together. It's very popular, it's a people pleaser, you can't go wrong with chili. And today, I am making my family favorite California chili. It's not your typical chili. It's made with chicken, onions, green peppers, tomato, lots of different things. So let's get started. First, we need to chop up our ingredients. We're going to start with green pepper and I'm cutting it into pretty big chunks. We're almost done with our green pepper and now we need to move on to our onions. So I need to show you something. These are my onion goggles. In fact, I have a video where I review these. I mean, I'll leave a link to that video in the description below, but these really save me. I have really sensitive eyes when it comes to chopping up onions and um, hot peppers, and I wear these, and I'm telling you, they work. Get a pair of these. They're really inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. Oh, and the, these are not sponsored at all on my video. It's just, I love them. I have my onion goggles on and they're working so well as I chop up these onions. These are three sweet onions that I'm cutting up and I'm just giving them a rough chop, just like I did with the peppers. Now I'm chopping up our jalapenos and I'm wearing gloves and there's a good reason for this. When I was cutting up jalapenos once, um, I rubbed my eyes and it was not a fun time. <laughs> so that's why I wear gloves. And I'm leaving the seeds in along with the membranes because when you do that, the peppers have a lot of, more of a kick. And I want all that added flavor in this chili. I've put the green peppers and the onions aside and I'm chopping up our chicken. I'm cutting it into strips like this and then I'm cutting it in half. Then I'm gonna cut it into threes or fours, depending on how big the strip was. Now the rest of what we're gonna be doing is going to be at the stove. So I'm adding in the onions that we chopped, the green peppers, and the jalapenos. We're gonna saute these on medium high heat until they start to get tender. Now we're gonna add four cloves of garlic that I've minced really fine. The smells here are just amazing with the onions, the peppers, and the garlic we just added. Gosh, I wish you could smell this. <laughs> it smells so good. One thing I forgot to add was our cumin. Now we're talking. Okay, now for our chicken. We're just going to put that in here. I'm not browning it, really. I'm just kind of mixing around with the vegetables before we add the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to be putting in two cans of diced tomatoes. So these are two cans of kidney beans that I've gone ahead and drained. This is chili sauce. You can find this in any grocery store. It almost tastes like a cross between ketchup and cocktail sauce. We're also going to add in a tablespoon of Worcestershire. And lastly, we're going to add about three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Now we're just going to give everything a really good mix and we're going to let it simmer for at least an hour, but the more you simmer it, the more flavor it's going to get. And as always, things like this are always better the next day. Look how beautiful this looks. Our chili is done. Now all we need to do is plate it and eat it. All right, one more little bit. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of shredded cheddar. I love cheddar cheese. And it is time to eat. Well, thanks for joining me today, everyone. I hope this California chili becomes one of your family favorites. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you. And don't forget to click on the playlist in the description below so that you can check out all the other channels who have made delicious chili. 
Well, that's it for today, everyone. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.